coach. It's been a while. Got a nice question from Laura S. How does one do a proper Turkish getup? So uh, I've seen a couple of videos of group lessons from other gyms and they're all doing Turkish getups and I was going, how could you let that go? There is a proper way to do it. Don't just let people do it. If you're a coach and you see they're not doing properly, go correct them. Don't just show the numbers of people in your class doing it. Correct them. So Sam's going to come here and we're going to start off on showing um, the bad way to do it, or the improper way. There's a lot of different ways, but I'm going to show the, the, the one, the part that people have the issue and actually do it improperly. So the thing is you start off, the side you got the kettlebell, leg is bent, leg is out. Big problem people start off is the leg, the, the, the distance between the feet are, are too close. So they come up and they try to do like a sit up. You're not supposed to, if I, if I just give them like a five pounder, you can do it. But the goal is they're getting better weight. So it's not a struggle to do it, it's not an ab workout. It's a whole body workout. So the big thing is, is widen out your feet, okay? Arms on the side. So the arm is locked, jack straight. You're gonna be rolling up, rolling up, putting all your weight on your forearm, and then coming up. Then from here you switch, and then you lunge forward. Up, proper position. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna show quickly the Turkish get up, then I'll explain afterwards what Sam's doing it, cutting it down. So when you're getting it, you have the weight, your kettlebell on the side, don't just grab it like here. Rotate on the side and grab it up here. Grabbing it here can give a little extension on your, uh, your elbow. So turning on the side, grab it in and close to your body. So now I have it nice and wide. The side of the kettlebell, the knee is up. Press it out. Again, I start rolling up. Roll up and use, put your weight on your forearm. Roll up. Here. Come here, we're going to switch your legs and I'm going to go forward. Thinking you're doing like a double leg takedown. And up. In line. So the arm is going to be in line with your ear. From here, we do reverse. Bring the foot back right beside the other foot. Down. And then put the hand down and then back, go back into position. Again, when I finish my reps, down and turn on the side and place it down on the ground. So we're gonna get Sam here to do it. He's gonna do the on, the on the other side. You roll and go pick it up. Press it. You see the distance is nice and wide, very important. So you roll up into it, keep the arm straight. From here, switch and go forward up into it and up. Keep it straight in line. He's not having it forward and not too much back. In line with the ear. Reverse back, close in. So not on the toes, but right, not the toes, close back here. And now go sitting down and brings back into position. Let's say he's finished, you bring it down and you roll and put it back down. Great. So Turkish get up is an awesome workout. It, it uses all your body parts. So it's not an ab workout to just to try to get up. It demands a lot of, uh, it, it's pretty hard. So it demands a lot of coordination. Make sure you're doing it properly. Don't go for a heavy uh, weight first. Get the technique down first. If you're going to do it in your workout, try to make it uh, at the beginning of your workout because it demands a lot of energy. Don't do it at the, la at the end, okay? Do it at the beginning. So if you have any more questions, just send me an email at info at Cheers. See you later. All right, go for it.